Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to set the access limits for a GG plot in R. So in the video I'm going to show you several examples and these examples will rely on the data that we can create with lines 2 and 3 of this code. So if you run this code you can see that at the top right of our R Studio a new data object appears. Um, we can also have a look at the data. So as you can see, it's just one column, which is containing several numeric values. So if we want to create ggplots, we of course need to install and load the ggplot2 package. Um, I have installed the package already on my computer, so for that reason I'm just going to load it into R. And um, then we can create a basic GG plot without any specific access with this code here. So if you run lines eight and nine of this code, um, a basic GG plot is created. We can also have a look at this plot. And as you can see here at the bottom right, it's just a normally distributed density of one variable, which we have called X. So now let's assume that we want to set the axis limits of this plot manually. Then we could do that in two different ways. So the first alternative is that we specify the function scale x continuous. And uh, within this function we can set the limits of our axis. So in this example I'm going to set it to minus 10 um, up to plus 10. And what we have to do is we simply need to add this line of code to our previous plot. So if you run the previous plot plus scale x continuous, then you will see that at the bottom right in our, our studio, the same distribution appears, but this time with access limits from minus 10 to plus 10. What you also can see here is that at the bottom of this plot, there is a black line. So this is, I would say, a matter of taste if you want to have this line or not. However, in the next example, I'm going to show you how to set the access limits without drawing this line. And this is something that we could do with a function called Cartesian. And uh, similar to the previous example, we just need to add this function to our basic plot. And then within the function, we need to specify the x lim. And uh, again, we put it from minus 10 to plus 10. And if you run this code, you can see that exactly the same appears at the bottom right. But this time, the black line at the bottom is only drawn below our real density. Okay, so in the first two examples, I have shown you how to zoom out. So how to make the range of the x of the x axis larger. However, of course, we could also zoom in and cut off some parts of our density. And this is uh, what we can do with the line 17 and 18. And uh, here in this case, I am again using the function scale x continuous. But of course, you could also do the same with the a co cohort Cartesian function. So if I run this code, you can see that our density is uh, zoomed in to a range from minus one to plus one. But what you also can see is that here in the RStudio console, we receive a warning message. And this warning is saying that 328 rows of our data were removed. So we cut off 328 values of our input data frame. Yeah, so if this is not a problem for your specific, uh, for your specific situation, then you can just ignore this warning message. But this message usually shows that some parts of your data were not shown in the plot. Okay, so that is uh, what I basically wanted to show you in this tutorial. Um, however, if you want to know more about how to set the limits of ggplot2 access in R, then you could also check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial on this topic 
And also on this homepage, I have several other tutorials on the ggplot2 package. So if you want to check out this tutorial, I will put a link to the tutorial in the description of this video. And if you have liked the video, of course, I would be very happy if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, because then you will also get notified in future um, in case I'm publishing new videos. So see you next time for the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.